Hello students, today we are going to study 8th standard maths formulae and important points. First point, the algebraic expression in one variable is a polynomial if the index of variable of each term is a whole number. Second point, in a polynomial the greatest index of the variable is the degree of the polynomial. Third, if index of each term of an algebraic expression in one variable is a whole number, then the expression is called a polynomial. Fourth, average is equal to sum of all scores upon total number of scores. Fifth, mean x bar mean is denoted by letter x bar mean x bar is equal to summation of fi multiply by xi upon n sixth point the value of the variable which satisfies the given equation is called the solution of the equation the segment of equal lengths are congruent next the angles of equal measures are congruent. Next point, SAS test. If two sides and the included angle of a triangle are congruent with two corresponding sides and the included angle of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent with each other. SSS test. If three sides of a triangle are congruent with three corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. ASA test If two angles of a triangle and a side included by them are congruent with two corresponding angles and the side included by them of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent with each other. AAS test If two angles of a triangle and a side not included by them are congruent with corresponding angles and a corresponding side not included by them of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent with each other. Hypotenuse test Hypotenuse side test If the hypotenuse and a side of a triangle, right angle triangle, are congruent with the hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other right angle triangle, then two triangles are congruent with each other. Next, I is equal to P multiply N multiply R upon 100. I is interest, means simple interest. P principal and number of years and R is the rate of interest at percent for annum. Next, A means amount is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 bracket raised to N. Here A is amount, P is principal, R is the rate of interest and N is number of years. Next, Area of a square is equal to side square or side multiply by side. Area of a rectangle is equal to length multiply by breadth. Area of a right angle triangle is equal to half into product of sides making right angle. And area of a triangle is equal to half multiply by base multiply by height. Next, area of a parallelogram is equal to base multiply by height. Area of a rhombus is equal to half into product of lengths of diagonals. Area of a trapezium is equal to half multiply by sum of the lengths of parallel sides multiply by height. If sides of triangle ABC are A, B, C, then Heron's formula for finding the area of triangle is as follows. Area of triangle ABC is equal to square root of S into bracket S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. 
where s is equal to a plus b plus c upon 2 and s is a semi perimeter. Next, total surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into bracket L multiply by B plus B multiply by H plus L multiply by H. Next, total surface area of a cube is equal to 6 into L square. Here L means length of side. The measure of the space occupied by a solid is called the volume of the solid. Next, Volume of cuboid is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height means L into B into H. Volume of a cube is equal to side cube. Side is denoted by letter L is equal to L cube. Next, curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi R H. Total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi R into bracket H plus R and volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h. Next, Euler's formula f plus v is equal to e plus 2. Here f means faces, v means vertices, e means edges. Next, the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to its chord bisects the chord. The segment joining the center of a circle and the midpoint of its chord is perpendicular to the chord. The chords corresponding to congruent arcs are congruent. In a circle, if two chords are congruent, then their corresponding minor arcs and major arcs are congruent. Last question, in the adjoining figure, O is the center of the circle. With reference to the figure, fill in the blanks. First, segment OD is dash of the circle. Segment OD is the radius. R A D I U S. Segment OD is the radius of the circle. Segment AB is dash of the circle. AB is diameter. D I A M E T E R. Segment AB is a diameter of the circle. Segment PQ is dash of the circle. Segment PQ is a chord. C H O R D. Segment PQ is a chord of the circle. Dash is the central angle. Angle DOB. DOB is the central angle. Next, minor arc. Arc AXD. AXD is a minor arc. BD is also minor arc. Next, minor arcs are arc BQ, arc QP or PQ arc AP. These are also minor arcs. Major arc, arc PAB. PAB is a major arc. Arc PDQ. PDQ is also major arc. Next major arcs are ADQ. ADQ or QAB. These also major arc. Next, semicircular arc. Arc ADB is a semicircular arc. Here APB or AQB is also semicircular arc. Next, measurement of arc DB is equal to measurement of central angle means angle DOB. DOB. Measurement of arc DAB. DAB. Measurement of arc DAB is equal to 360 degree minus angle DOB. Measure of arc BD and measurement of angle DOB are same. Therefore, 360 degree minus measurement of angle DOB. 
डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू